We're going to take a look at the Steel Lamprey offhand weapon for the Barbarian today and see whether or not that is useful for the Barbarian in Diablo Immortal. I'm JKG. Let's boogie. All right, guys, so we're going to get into it. Before we actually get into it, I want to thank everybody again for all the recent love on all the videos. Really appreciate it. You guys are doing an amazing job showing love on the account. And uh, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And we smashed the September sub goal of 250. So I want to just let's let's push it out. Let's see. Can we get to I don't know. Can we get to 350? Uh, by the end of September, I know we got a couple weeks left, so we'll, we'll take a look and see if we can get there. I really appreciate it. If you could hit that sub button down below, drop a like on the video if you like it. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. So recently, pretty recently, I've been trying to go around grabbing as we get, you know, some of the, the new legendary pieces for the Barbarian. You can see the one right here over my shoulder. Uh, the Steel Lamprey is one of the newer ones that we got. It's an offhand weapon. Um, I typically run what's called the um uh, the where is it the main one that i run is not in here um because it is the broken soul the broken soul is the one that i normally run um because we then get an additional crit chance instead of attack speed out of it this one i wanted to see if it was going to be viable for using the the chain spear um in pvp possibly even like a like a pve situation for maybe you know high level challenge rifts just to try to group people up if we're in a party or something like that and maybe get some healing out from it because like you like it says here chain spear now marks enemies for five seconds and heals us for five percent of the damage it causes to the marked enemies so i was like okay five percent heal off of the damage that we're getting it's not going to be a massive heal but is it going to be worth it to help us stay alive in and not have to proc our undying rage not have to proc a heal not have to proc gladiator you know things like that right is this going to help us in those situations so i decided to let's go ahead and check it out um i recorded this <clears throat> i recorded this a little while ago so let me get this off the screen we're gonna go ahead and hit play on this and we're going to kind of see, I'm going to go over, <clears throat> go over it here. We're going to take a look. I am running a Grace of the Flagellant six piece set in this, in this uh, scenario. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so we are rocking that. And then as you can see, you know, decent stats on it. We're running as Wenson's chain spear now marks our enemies for five seconds. And we do heal based on that. I'm wondering if possibly if the hunger as a, as a, a gem could kind of you know, stack with that. We are going to run crackle fell on the chest in this situation to make that spear electrified and immobilized. So we're going to try to basically do a little bit more damage with that. So as you can kind of see here, come out here, try to, I'm trying to group or trying to get like a nice big group up so I can hit multiple enemies all with one, you know, one shot. So there we go. You can kind of see it. Did enough damage. You can see the Grace and the Zwensons both procced um, right there, killing everybody in that situation. So we're going to kind of basically try to group everybody up. The good thing about the good thing about the spears is if I move out of the way, they don't have the longest uh, cooldown. It's right here over my shoulder. You know, it's not the longest cooldown in the world. It's not the shortest cooldown in the world, but it, it's not the worst. Um, you can kind of see where we're. We're working it, we're working it. And then I decided, okay, let's test the heal. So damage is the, the damage it does is, is just fine. Um, it's not game breaking damage. It's not gonna proc, you know, massive crits or anything like that for us, unless we get like a Grace of the Flagellant set proc. Um, but you can kind of see we're we're not really healing very much. You saw the the heal meter go up a little bit, but it wasn't very much at all. It, so I don't think it's necessarily something that we're going to do. It, it's not something that's going to go immediately in the bag for us and, and get used. I think it's going to be very niche. You can see there we had a 22k crit and it healed us for a little bit of a chunk, right? It took us back up to half health when it hit, when it crit for 22k. But outside of a big crit like that, we're not going to do enough damage with it to justify using it as 
a high level heal for us. Um, possibly if we're running, maybe, like I said, the hunger as a, a gem with it, where we get that kind of lifesteal mechanic built in with that as well. Um, that might be something we can run. Um, there you can see running a little bit of a, a leap along with this. We're going to have, that's a little teaser. We're going to have something else coming out pretty soon for the leap. But uh, yeah, that was just kind of a little overview. My thoughts is the, the steel lamprey with the, the steel lamprey with the chains, I don't think is going to be viable for a pvp situation i think obens many fingers if you are going to run chains i think obens many fingers are going to be much more viable because you get five chains instead of three uh with Cracklefell, we did only get one chain instead of the three chains uh, so that that kind of hurt that a little bit but we did get more damage and more cc out of it with that in in the combination with steel amprey so i think it was a fair trade as far as that goes but uh yeah in general steel amprey I don't think it's viable. I don't think it's really all that usable. So I, I'm going to say go ahead and pass on it for now. If you are using it and you're using it well, let us know in the comments below the situation, what you're using with it to make it viable and where you're using it to make it viable. But outside of that, let us know your, let me know your thoughts and feelings on the Steel Lamprey. Again, if you like the video, drop a like, hit that sub button. Let's go ahead and get to 350 subs by the end of, uh, by the end of September here. And uh, yeah. Without further ado, I've been JKG. Y'all been amazing. Peace.